Hello. Shall we pray? Loving God, we invite you into this moment. Affirm to us your love and your acceptance, we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Apparently, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Now call me old-fashioned, but I still quite like it when someone says, Johnny, that was amazing. Johnny, that was really good. Or Johnny, you're so handsome. All genuine quotes, by the way, that I say to myself. But subconsciously or consciously, we seem to absorb things from the people round about us. My taste in music comes for, for a large part from the fact that I shared a room with my eldest brother at a really impressionable age. But we also imitate the things we admire about people around us. And as Christians, we try and imitate Christ. We try and be like he was. But what does that mean? What does that actually look like? And I suppose it depends on what your picture of Christ looks like. People can often focus on a different attribute. So it might be his righteousness or his holiness. It could be compassion or hospitality or social action. Or they might even try and imitate his power, his authority. Quite often, though, those things that people try and imitate, try and do just like he did, are things that they quite like anyway. Now, don't get me wrong, it's absolutely great to use the things that you like to serve God. So if you love throwing a party, absolutely be hospitable. But very rarely when we think, what does it mean to be Christ-like, do we think of something that's going to cost us? When we think of Christ as the perfect revelation of God, we see that revealed most perfectly on the cross. Exactly what God's nature is like. We see his grace and his righteousness. We see his justice and his forgiveness. We see his power and his humility. We see his wisdom. But the thing that absolutely smacks us in the face is his love. It's his self-sacrificial love. It's something that cost him. Here is a passage from the Bible and it's Philippians chapter 2 verses 3 to 8. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit but in humility consider others better than yourselves. Each of you should look not only to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. So, as we reflect today, as we ask ourselves, what does it mean to be Christ-like? And if we're willing to be Christ-like, that also involves asking the question, are we willing for it? to cost us? Are we willing to love even at the expense of ourselves? Shall we pray? Lord God Almighty, we do not have the capability to love like you loved us, but we do desire to become more and more like you. And as we go along that journey, would you open up our hearts, open up our compassion and hospitality and kindness and generousness, our heart for other people. Open up 
a righteousness within us. But as we try and be like you, as we endeavour to imitate our Lord, we ask that you fill us with your Spirit to enable us to do all those things, but also grant us the grace to be willing to love others, even when it costs us. For then is it truly love. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hi everyone. I just thought I'd add a wee bit on at the end to say hello and to give you our best wishes from New Hills. Obviously it's a bit of a strange start to a ministry, but uh, except for all the COVID-19 stuff, it's been going really well up here and we're both settling in well. So have a good day. Uh, be safe. Keep well. And our love from both myself and ML to you all. Bye.